Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today's class is about creating stories. I am sure when you were kids or very little and even now, you love hearing stories from your parents, isn't it? I am sure everyone would be recalling their favorite story, right? What if I give you a chance to create your favorite story on scratch? Wouldn't that be very interesting? So see, uh, I'm sure when you were very little, your parents would have told you some story or still they tell you some stories and some of them would be your favorite. So you can create it on scratch and surprise your parents. Wouldn't that be great? So what is story time? What we do in story? Let me tell you. See, imagine you're telling a story with your toys or drawings. It means there are two toys in front of you. They are presenting your story. That is what we are trying to do. So the look blocks in Scratch are like a special instructions you give to your characters. So to make them act out different parts of the story. So they are going to be actors in Scratch, the sprites and they are going to present your story. Whatever you make them speak, they are going to say that. So in looks, we have a block called say block that is used to make the cat say something. It means it can make any character say something. You can also use the think block to show what the cat is thinking. So sometimes what happens when you are speaking to your friend also, you say a word and then you think something, correct? We think something. So this thinking is called as think block that is different from saying. I will show you when we do it on the scratch. And with the costume block, you can change how the cat looks because sometimes when you start the story, the character is in a different position and a different, fa um, you know, posture and then they change how they are standing. Sometimes they are happy, sometimes at the end of the story they are sad or maybe they get started sad and then they end with a happy note. So, all this you can pre present using costume. So, it's like you play with your outfit, play with the costumes in the looks block. You make your character say something. So now same way we are going to create a simple story in scratch between two characters. Let's start with the story. We are going to try it on the scratch platform. I'll go to the scratch. I'll click on create option. So when we do practical, it is very important to observe and understand what we are doing in the project. So, please observe my screen. First, we will uh, add backdrop. Mm, can we do two things? From home to school you are going. Okay, that is indoors. So, I will take this bedroom. And I will add two sprites here. Abby. And in people, we can take this character. I will change their size. I will make it 60. This is good. So, Abby looks smaller. And for this sprite, this is Abby's mama. So, I will keep 80. This is fine, correct? And I will go to the costume. And this one has to face Abby. So, I did flip horizontal. Okay, so we will start with Abby speaking something and coming from the, we can make Abby stand here and she can walk here and she can walk here to her mama. Okay, first the position needs to be decided. So we always start with the project when green flag clicked and using that we set the go to position. Using go to, I am setting this position. So that when I click on the green flag, Abby starts from this position itself. Then I make Abby come till here. That is glide. I make it walk till here. So I take glide block. And then again I want Abby to walk from here to here to her mama. I will again take glide. And in between these two glides, I can take between all the blocks, I can take weight block. Because everything shouldn't happen too fast, right? And we also don't want it to look like it's waiting a lot. So, I'll take just 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, because which is a very small amount. 
and if you want Abby to walk very slowly, we will take 3 seconds here. See how slowly it walks, it stands like a bit, very small second and it reaches here. So once Abby is near to her mama, uh, she will say something, she will speak to her mama. So for that we use say hello for 2 seconds block. She will say hello mom. So she will say hello mom. After this. Okay. Now how do we make mama say after her? See once you complete speaking something then the other character should start right. Same way like I am saying something. I am speaking to someone. I will say something. First I complete then they will give their reply. Correct? That is how it works. Same. So how we do this in scratch? We have just wait option. Once this is completed this character has to wait that many seconds and then say something. Do you think that is very manageable? Is it manageable? I will set the position first for this new character. So we can't set the, we can't make it speak after waiting because if we use wait second it is going to take a lot of time and we will have to do a lot with the wait seconds, correct? We will always have to wait. The story will become very lengthy and confusing. We will have to calculate the time, how many seconds the sprite has to wait, yes? Correct? So now what we are going to do, we are going to learn a new thing called, what we are going to learn? We are going to learn broadcast. Okay? We will go to events. We have a block called broadcast. What is the block? Broadcast. Broadcast is used to send signal from one character to the another. So once Abby is speaking, she is done speaking, she completed her dialogue, then she will broadcast a message to her mama. She will send a signal to her mama that she is done speaking. So, I will attach broadcast message 1. If you want, if this is confusing, what we can do is to make it more easier. We click on this and we click on new message. I will write hello. So, we understand this broadcast is for greeting someone. For hello. Correct? So, hello makes it easier to understand that this is for greeting. Now, we go to the character. Now, we have to tell Abby's mama that Abby has given you the signal. Now, you can speak something. You can say something. So, how will you do that? You will say, when I receive hello. This is to broadcast. This is to receive message. So, you have to remember one thing. If this sprite, Abby, is broadcasting something, this has to receive that. If this message is broadcasting, you the same character cannot receive it. Receiver should be another character. So, I said when I receive hello, she will display. We will say, hi Abby, are you ready for school? Hi Abby, are you ready for school? Wait, I'll start. So, see when the first character completes, then the other will start. Hello, mom. Hi, Abby. Are you ready for school? So, now this mama, Abby's mom, has to send a signal that she's done speaking. So, I'll go to events and we will broadcast a new message. What new message we are going to broadcast now? Abby will say yes or no, correct? Here it can be anything. You can write message 1, message 2, message 3 also. But I am writing this name so that you understand that how we can make it easier and understandable for us. So I wrote yes. So I will come in Abby and I will say when I receive yes. What we do? When I receive yes. So once the... Mama says yes, mama broadcasted yes message, correct? If mama is broadcasting, Abby has to receive the message. So, Abby will receive the message and say, 
Yes, mom, I'm ready. Yes, mom, I'm ready. Now, once we wrote yes, mom, I'm ready, what we can do is we can add a uh, one more new message so that two dialogues uh, Abby speaking saying let's go okay now let's run are you ready for school yes mom I'm ready let's go okay now mama has to say uh, mama has to say okay come with me so who will broadcast the message? Abby will broadcast the message, correct? So, I will go to events and I will say go or come. Now, if Abby has broadcasted, who is going to receive? Mama is going to receive. So, we take a new event block. When I receive come, Mama will say, okay, come with me. Okay, come with me. Now, what we will do, we will change the backdrop to school backdrop. So, for that, what we do, we go to backdrops and here we go to the backdrop uploading option and we are going to upload a school. I will click on school. Okay, so now here... Once mama says, okay, come with me, what we will do? We will take switch backdrop to school. What we are taking? Switch backdrop to school. Let's start. Hello, mom. Hi, Abby. Are you ready for school? Yes, mom, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, come with me. Then the backdrop changes to school. Correct? Now, if I click on green flag, you can see the backdrop is still school. So, why this problem happens? Because like I told you, computer is a robot. We have to give every instruction to the computer very, very clearly. We have not given the instruction till now that the backdrop should start from the bedroom. So, how you do that? When the green flag is clicked, you take switch backdrop to bedroom 2. It means you are saying when the project start the backdrop should be bedroom and then once they receive come message the signal called come is received then the broadcast school will happen then the school backdrop will change see okay come with me now they have school now if i click on green flag again we have the bedroom that is how you can shift from one backdrop to another in your stories now, what we will do, we will do more of storylines. We will broadcast a new message saying, thank you, mama. So, just thanks we can write. See, this is to make understandable that now Abby has to receive. Now, Abby, once this mama broadcasted, Abby will receive thanks. So, you know what message you have to write. This is to make your code very clear. Thanks, mom. Bye. Let's see how it works. The one who completes speaking is going to broadcast. Okay. The one whose dialogue was last is going to broadcast. Thanks mom. Bye. So now again Abby will broadcast. New message. Bye. Now, mama is going to receive and say, okay, dear, take care. Okay, dear, bye. Bye, take care. Take care. And we end the story here. Let's see. Hello, mom. Now, mama will say, Hi, Abby. Are you ready for school? Yes, mom. I'm ready. 
लेट्स गो मम्मा विल से ओके कम विथ मी थैंक्स मॉम बाय ओके डियर बाय टेक केयर सो वॉट वी डिड आई जस्ट टे दिस टू स्टोरी टाइम दिस वे यू कैन क्रिएट मल्टीपल स्टोरीज इन योर स्क्रैच प्रोजेक्ट जस्ट वॉट यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल विथ दिस इफ योर प्रोग्राम गोज रॉन्ग आई टेल योर ट्रिक टू फिगर इट आउट सी इफ यू आर ब्रॉडकास्टिंग इन दिस कैरेक्टर कंसिडर दिस इज द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर यू ब्रॉडकास्टेड मैसेज हेलो इन एबी सो एबी कैन नॉट रिसीव हेलो इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल यू डू वेन आई रिसीव हेलो सी आई एल जस्ट चेंज दिस इट विल क्रिएट अ मेस सी आई एल शो यू can you see how it is creating a mess so once to make it very simple and sorted first broadcast one message from this character go to another character let it receive the one who said the dialogue is going to broadcast now here we broadcasted yes message so abby's mama is not receiving yes anywhere she has sent that message the sender should be different receiver should be different any time the mistake is this much only that what you do sometimes if you are broadcasting yes here you receive yes in the same character that creates a mess so always if your program goes wrong just make sure that you are checking the broadcast who is broadcasting and who is receiving try to watch this video again and again with different steps and practice different stories it's not uh, it is not the mandatory that you create this story once you create this if new story you want to create write it down in your book character 1 dialogue and character 2 dialogues okay that's it, uh, to make it sorted once you have written in your book you watch this video and then you can just do the broadcasting because here it is very simplified and understandable hope you guys enjoyed creating story and i'm sure you're going to surprise your parents by creating the favorite story which they used to tell you on the bed time or they maybe tell you now also on the bed time okay thank you